if the numbers don't lie and people love looking into statistics and diving into discover hidden political treasures, then this list of America's worst-run cities is surely about to fascinate you. A study done by a website called Wallet Hub released its best 150 cities and all the way down at the bottom is where the doozies were. These were essentially the worst-run cities and there's something that 15 of them had in common. Keep in mind these surveys or polls or studies sometimes come off as advertising for popular cities. But there's something about this one that wasn't advertised at all and that's the political rulership of each city. One had to dive a little deeper to discover this booty of sunken treasure that Democrats probably didn't want anyone to find. Fifteen of the bottom cities, meaning the worst run cities, are all lead by Democrats. Shocking? Not really. If you consider how many large cities who struggle with poverty and don't ever seem to improve are all ran by Democrats. Then this study isn't exactly eye-opening anymore. In fact, it should serve as a reminder that Democrats seem to be poverty pimps who promise hope, change, and progress. But if your city has been run down for 40 plus years with no sign of hope and you keep voting for Democrat mayors, then there's your problem. Of course, that's exactly what 15 of the worst cities have in common. They're Democratic mayors who keep the man down instead of bringing the man up. Of the 150 cities ranked by Wallet Hub, 15 of the bottom 16 have something in common. They are run by Democratic mayors. Wallet Hub didn't list the political affiliations of each city's mayor. In fact, there's no reference to any specific individuals or political parties in the survey. Of the cities ranked by Wallet Hub, Washington D.C. ranks D.D. last slightly ahead of New York City and Detroit. Also falling near the bottom of the survey are cities that have been long-time Democrat strongholds such as St. Louis, ranked 136th out of 150, Atlanta, 137th, Los Angeles, 138th, Chicago, 140th, Cleveland, 142nd, Oakland, 145th, and San Francisco. 147th, the only city out of the lowest 16 in the rankings with a Republican mayor is Gulfport, Mississippi, which came in at 146th on the list. According to Wallet Hub, the survey was compiled using data from six categories, financial stability, education, health, safety, economy, and infrastructure and pollution then used the numbers from those categories to create a quality of city services score for each city. That score was then divided by the dollar amount for each city's total budget per capita to create a score per dollar spent index that was used to determine the final rankings. The final numbers measure the operating efficiency of each city, thereby taking into account how well city officials manage and spend public funds by comparing the quality of services residents receive against the city's total budget. According to Wallet Hub, the top five cities on the Wallet Hub list are Napa, Idaho, Provo, Utah, Boise, Idaho, Lexington Fayette, Kentucky, and Missoula, Montana. The only so-called big city to earn a top 10 ranking in the survey is Oklahoma City which ranked number 10. It has a population of roughly 640,000. It seems like nothing has changed in the last few years for some of the horribly ran Democrat cities. The voters keep voting blue, but they keep staying impoverished. It's like the privileged people in the city don't actually care about all the poor people they pretend to advocate for. It's like the mayors don't care. They just raise taxes and then spend the money on silly things like building parks in Philadelphia when they could be improving neighborhoods and making jobs. A study two years ago encouraged poor people to stop voting for Democrats when they listed a group of major cities who had historic runs of Democratic mayors and horrible poverty conditions. Philadelphia, Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore, Oakland just to name a few. Some cities had Democrat mayors for decades and it appears that their cities were in shambles and the voters blindly continued voting for the Democrats. Apparently, the Democrat voters don't care about poor people either. If they did, then they would stop voting for Democrats. How many cities have politicians who find themselves in the midst of corruption, voter fraud, and other nonsense where the perpetrator always seems to be a Democrat? If you know someone who votes Democrat in a city that needs help, then ask them why. Remind them that the Democrat mayors don't seem to be helping. 
How can anyone vote for a Democrat mayor for 40 years in a row and watch their city fall apart? Sounds like something only a liberal would do.